Kwa siku ya tatu wiki hii mikasa ya shule kuteketezwa na kuharibiwa na wanafunzi imeendelea kushuhudiwa. Shule wavulana ya Kisumu na ile ya Bukembe katika kaunti ya Bungoma zimeingia kwenye orodha hiyo Jumanne hii. Mwanahabari wetu Makori Ongeche amezungumza na wataalamu wa saikolojia na walimu wa kuwa kitambo kubaini baadhi ya sababu zinazochangia uhalifu huo. Taarifa za visa vya uharibifu wa mali shuleni zimetawala vyombo vya habari kwa siku tatu mfululizo. Jumanne hii wanafunzi wa shule ya wavulana ya Kisumu wakiteketeza bweni moja na kila kitu kilichokuemo. Hali sawa na hiyo ikishuhudiwa katika shule ya wavulana ya Bukembe huko Bungoma, kaunti ambayo imekuwa na visa vingine viwili vya uharibifu wa mali huku shule mbili zikifungwa katika kipindi cha siku mbili. Nilimuuliza daktari Norman Kiogora, mwalimu kuwa kitambo wa shule ya wavulana ya Moy Forces na ambaye alihudumu kwa miaka 17 katika shule tofauti katika cheo hicho, kuhusu sababu ambayo huenda imechangia msururu wa matukio haya. Kiogora ambaye sasa ni mkurugenzi wa taasisi ya elimu maalum chini akitaja sababu kadhaa. Some of them involved with companies maybe which were taking drugs, parties which were destructive. But this student also got into other culture of money making. Some of them were running bond and others were hawking. They were hawkers. And all of a sudden, they're in school and they're being told, stop earning money, start learning, depending on how soon they've been prepared psychologically. And normally they get a friend of exams, depending on how they have been brought into schools. Exams can be also be contributing to anxiety, which need to be managed professionally in terms of speaking to the students and assuring them that the life they have left at home and the, the one they are in need to agree. Mtaalamu wa saikolojia na isimamia kitengo maalum cha ushauri katika kituo hiki Josephine Karari pia kionekana kutoa sababu sawa na hizo. These are students who have been used to living a life with no timetables a life with no shared school schedules and basically very few rules because many parents uh, are not able to supervise their children they, they decided what to do within the day and therefore they would engage in any activities that most of them felt they wanted one aspect of boys schools which have been handed for some time boys require a lot of honesty in terms of approach of issues When put the things open to the boys, boys will appreciate in terms of reasoning with them. Na huku visa vya wanafunzi kugoma na kusababisha hasara vikionekana kuchipuka tena. Washauri wa kiakili wanahoji kwamba kuna haja wasimamizi wa shule kuhusisha wanafunzi hao moja kwa moja ili kutambua matatizo yao na kuzuia migogoro kama hiyo wakati huu wanasoma wakati wa COVID-19. Makorio Ngechi Runinga Citizen Nairobi.